Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your first Svelte tutorial. Okay, so this one is going to be a quick overview and also um, a how-to in terms of setting up and getting started building a Svelte application. Okay, so um, just for those of you who aren't too sure, essentially Svelte is a JavaScript component framework for building reactive user interfaces. Okay, so it shares similar goals to both Vue and React. Okay, now I've written down here a couple of dot points for um, as to you know why I like Svelte. So the first one here is I find it really easy to use especially if you're coming from a plain HTML, CSS and JavaScript background, you're going to find it really easy to pick up on and start using Svelte in your future projects. Okay. The second dot point here is that your Svelte apps are probably going to be quite fast because there is no virtual DOM and most of the work happens at build time as opposed to runtime. And the last dot point here is I find the syntax of Svelte to be quite clean, so you can do quite complicated tasks in small amounts of code, which typically is probably what you want. Okay, so let's have a look at first how to get started in building a Svelte application. Okay, so going inside the text editor right here, you're going to first want to have Node.js installed, and once that's done, you can head inside the terminal, and we can start by saying npx degit, then Svelte JS forward slash templates, and then you can specify the uh, the directory for your application so for example we're just going to say dot forward slash to target the current directory okay so now pressing enter that right there is going to pull down all of our template and starting code for our Svelte application as we can see we have all of these files right here okay so let's install all of the dependencies by saying npm install and as that goes through, we can see right here we have all of these files. So, most notably, we can see we are using Rollup as the build tool. Okay, so this right here has everything for you. Now, of course, if you want, you can go inside here, add your own plugins, things like that. But in most cases, at least for these tutorials, this right here can stay. Okay, now also we have the package JSON which contains a total of three scripts. So for example, we have the dev script right here which will be um, our most used script for these tutorials. So that right there is going to start a development server. So we can say right here in the console uh, npx, sorry npm um, run dev. Okay, so now upon doing so, um, it's going to start a development server. So this also contains live reload. So if I was to go to localhost at port 5000, we can see right here we have the Svelte application running. And as we can see, it says hello world. Now, like I said, it has live reload. So if I was to go back inside the text editor and head to the app.svelte file right here and then change hello to be hi save this, we can see we get the automatic refresh of the code right there to update with our changes. Okay, so let's go back inside here and take a look at the directory structure. So as we can see right here, we have of course um, this source directory and this source directory is going to contain uh, most if not all of your JavaScript and components when it comes to working with Svelte and this right here, this app.svelte is your root Svelte uh, components. Okay, so obviously in future tutorials, we're going to be taking a more detailed look at this structure right here. But if you want to enable syntax highlighting and all of your all of your VS Code support for Svelte, you can quite easily install the Svelte extension. So going inside the extension marketplace right here, we can type out Svelte, and you want to install um, this one right up here, made by Svelte, and I believe this one is the official uh, extension or the officially supported at least extension for Svelte. So installing this right here, of course, is going to do so. And um, heading back inside the app, we can see, of course, we now have our syntax highlighting working perfectly fine. Now, uh, one last thing to note is 
We also have here this public directory which contains our HTML and of course this right here is quite bare bones due to the fact that we are using Svelte but as we can see it includes our bundle.js which gets generated by rollup and also we have here our bundle.css and lastly we have our global.css. So this global right here is going to be, as the name suggests, a global CSS file. So you can put all of your global things inside here. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial. Um, in the next one, we're going to be having a look in more detail at this application structure right here, as well as this file right here. And of course, just a basic Hello World example. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.